Hail Satan, Hail Lord Belial, Hail Lord Leviathan, Hail King Lucifer, Hail Lord Vereen, fucking reflection from the light, Hail King Asmodeus, Hail King Asmodeus, Hail Lord Bilzubob, Hail King Pazuzu, Hail Queen Astaroth, Hail to every demon and every demoness that's in existence. I love every single one of you. And I love every single one of my true, sinister brothers and sisters in Father Satan. If you're not 100% true, and if you're not 100% sinister, and if you're not, and if you do not believe that Father Satan is the true God of this world, and if you do not believe that King Lucifer is the true God of enlightenment, and if you do not believe that every demon and every demoness are the true ancient gods and who run this show, and if you do not do true 100% demonic and satanic rituals unless you have a very good reason and the only good you pretty much got to answer to Father Satan for it and the demonic which unless you're in a hospital and you can't do them or unless you're really, really sick, like I said, and you're in the hospital. Or if you, uh, that's pretty much the only reason. There's no reason at all not to do satanic rituals. Well, like I said, unless you're in the hospital somewhere. If you're in a the hospital, then it's understandable. If you're not, it's only bullshit. That is only a lie that you're telling, your, you're telling yourself and you're telling your maker. You're telling Father Satan and Lord Belial, Lord Vereen, beautiful Queen Lilith. I hate that reflection man from the street lights if I try to do a nighttime video. Sucks. And you're only, you're only hurting yourself. You're not hurting anybody else at all but in saying that yeah um, I want to do this video on uh, on demonic and satanic altars and satanic rituals and demonic rituals if you're new to Satanism okay if you're new to true Satanism, theistic Satanism, traditional Satanism, spiritual Satanism, demonolatry, necromancy, anti-cosmic Satanism. If you belong to the Church of Satan, which in my opinion, the majority of people that do belong to the Church of Satan are all atheists. They'll tell you to your faith. They'll tell they, it. Even says on their website, on their main page, that they don't believe in any deities at all. They don't believe that Father Satan is real. They don't believe Lord Volok is real. They don't believe King Pazuzu is real. They don't believe Lord Belial is real. They don't believe Beautiful Queen Lilith is real. Lord Bilzebub. You know, beautiful Queen Lilith, King Asmodeus, King Asmodee, King Lucifer, any of the demonic. They don't believe any of them are real. The majority of people that are in the Church of Satan. Now, in saying that, I'm sure there are some people in the Church of Satan who who actually who actually do believe in the reality of Father Satan. And that Father Satan is 100% real. I'm sure there are pockets of people. I'm sure there are pockets. Now, I'm not saying a lot. 
might just be a few but I'm sure that there are some of them that are actually uh, that actually do worship Father Satan as a real God as a God which he is because Father Satan is the true God of this world the true Lord of this world the true dark map the true master of this world and that I say with 100% honesty and purity in my heart because I know Father Satan is 100% real I know King Lucifer is 100% real all of the demonic every single one of them the ones that are both known to us and the ones that are both are unknown to us the ones that are named and the ones that are un not named and in saying that they also have they also are I should say great deities who we should love and respect because the most one of the most important things to a deity to an ancient god to any ancient god or any demon any demon or demoness that's in existence one of the most important things to them is respect okay respect and loyalty that fucking thing reflecting from my light my candle man that sucks from the street lights loyalty honesty and respect when you go before any of the demonic be it father satan king lucifer lord belial lord leviathan king king payamon lord mayamon you know king pazuzu king asmodeus king azazel lord croxel lord dandelion any demonic when you go before any of the demonic to do rituals you best be doing it with 100% or or as a great sister says 666% honesty and loyalty and respectfully and invite and inv when you do a ritual invite because I am big on invitations especially when it comes to the demonic I'm very big on invitations always was I always have been and I always will be now that being said excuse me here for a sec said a cigarette that being said I know there are many people who also claim to be Satanists like I was saying about the Church of Satan or the me a certain amount of members of the Church of Satan now a lot of them a lot of them say that they're Satanists okay and they don't even recognize people like me or you they don't recognize us as Satanists now the reason being they don't is because they don't believe the Father Satan exists the majority of them a lot of them do not believe that any of the demonic are real they just think that they just believe and think which pretty much almost everybody knows what they believe and think they don't think any of the demonic are real they don't believe father Satan is real they just believe that they live their life with freedom to do whatever they want And pretty much as long as they follow Anton LaVey's rules and uh, his what he believed or what they th think that he believed, as long as they follow his rules, his statements, and his what he considered satanic sins, they believe that they're all cool and everything's great. And when they, they also believe that when they die, they just when they just die and go put it in an urn if they're cremated or if they're planted, they get put in the ground and that's it. No more to it than that. That's all that's to the story. But I can promise you right now, as true as I'm doing this video, I one hundred I six hundred and sixty six percent or one hundred percent honestly truly with every fucking fiber of my being believe and I honestly actually more believe I know and I'm not just shooting shit 
I can honestly say I know that Father Satan exists and all of the demonic. If I did not if I did not believe that, I would not be going around doing I would not be doing videos, number one, and I would not be going around every time I go out with my satanic jewelry on. I can guarantee you that right now. <clears throat> or if I even believe that the way the Church of Satan, the members of the Church of Satan believe that Father of Satan don't exist, but yet they claim to call themselves Satanists, I don't understand that. I really don't feel that one. I can't figure that one out. Because why in the hell would they con even consider themselves Satanists? Okay, in all honesty, why would they even call themselves Satanists if they don't believe the Father of Satan exists? That don't make sense to me at all. That's like the church, that's like the temple of Satan. If, nine, if all their members, or majority of them, do not believe that Father Satan is a real deity, King Lucifer is a real deity, all of the demonic are real, if they don't believe that any of them are real, okay, and I'm talking about the, uh, I'm talking about the ones from the fucking uh, Temple of Satan here now. If they don't believe that Father Satan is real, okay, and the demonic are real, what in the hell, or why in the hell, why in the world would they call themselves Satanists? Why would they even use the term Satanists? Oh, because they got freedom to do whatever they want. That's right, I forgot. They got freedom to do whatever the hell they want, whatever they want to do, just as long as, you know, they don't break the law and get caught or whatever, right? But, that being said, in my honest opinion, and I'm being 100% honest, I'm 100% I'm honest in every video I do. Now, and if I'm not sure about something and I do a video and somebody watches it, I'm hoping they'll correct me. But in order to correct me, they better show me the proof too. Now I'm not I'm not right all the time, far from it. I'm far from right all the time. But when I do a video it comes from my heart. I don't do it for the attention. I really don't. I, don't, I sure as hell don't do it for the money that I get off of YouTube because I'll never get I would never get enough subscribers for that. Or enough likes on videos. But that being said, to get back to the satanic uh, satanic rituals and that. Now, <clears throat> there are a lot of groups out there, or people out there, who started up who started up organizations years ago, and they still have the organizations going. Okay, I'm gonna use the. Uh, let me see. I'm going to use the Satanic International Network, okay, for this. Now, the guy talks about LaVey, okay, he may as well be a, the guy that runs it, or owns it, or whatever you want to call it, the guy may as well fucking come out and say that he's pure atheist and don't believe in anything. Because he pretty much, he might as well say, he might, in all honesty, he might as well say that he's LeVayan. He would be just as well. Because he doesn't believe in anything, according to him. According to what he says, right? According to what he says, he don't believe in nothing. But, yet, he does videos, all his, all his videos that he does are on Satanism. Be it the, talking about theistic Satanism, spiritual Satanism... Uh, traditional Satanism, demonolatry, necromancy, uh, theist I said theistic Satanism, anti-cosmic Satanism. Now, if he didn't believe in anything, obviously he's only doing it to make money out of it somehow. Be it through selling his t-shirts, stuff like that. Now, don't get me wrong. You know... I like the guy, but I just don't like the way that he goes around with his beliefs. But like I said, that's his choice too, right? You know, freedom of religion, freedom of belief system. I don't consider my Satanism a religion. 
I consider it a belief system. And actually, I had a kind of, it wasn't really a disagreement today, but I was talking to someone today, and they mentioned something about, uh, they mentioned religion and that, right? And, and I, I, start, I brought up, you know, certain things that certain religions did to kids. For many years, actually, they did it to kids. Which is 100% wrong, and, and so far as I know, there was only one person that ended up locked up for all the, all the crap that the kids went through. Now, they ruined them kids, those kids' lives, okay? And as far as I know, one of them only got, only got five years, and he died inside of a heart attack or something like that, I think. But anyway, that being said, now, when it comes, when, you know, why, what gets me is why people... Now, that guy from the Satanic International Network I was talking about, I'm sure most people that uh, have any idea about Satanism, you know, and have been around a wall, know who I'm talking about. I'm not going to bring his name up to it, because he seems like a pretty cool guy. Now, I'm not saying a guy isn't. Like, he seems like a nice guy. I have no problem with him whatsoever. Never did. Hoping I never will. You know, because he seems pretty cool. You know, I give him all the props in the world for trying to make money. You know, off of doing what he's doing, like selling t-shirts and stuff like that. But he don't make enough money that he got to, he goes around rich. Because he's far from rich. You know. But, the thing that gets me is, if you don't believe, in, and I don't care who the person is, I really don't, to be honest with you. If you don't believe in Father Satan, okay... If you don't believe that Father Satan exists or any of the demonic exist, and if you're claiming you're, okay, I don't believe in this one, I don't believe in Satan, I don't believe the Father Satan is a real deity, you know, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. And I don't care who the person is. I don't care if I knew the per know the person for fucking 50 years. You know, sorry, Father Satan is very real. I know that for a fact. I'm not just saying, I don't just say... Because other people say it. I don't just say it, thought that Satan, Lord Satan, King Bel Lord Belial, Lord Leviathan, Lord Bilzebub, King Pazuzu, King Asmodeus, Queen Astaroth, beautiful Queen Lilith. Astaroth is, beautiful. Astaroth is beautiful too, by the way. Now, I think the only reason he's at it now, still at it, is for some of the money he probably makes on his t-shirts. You know, don't get me wrong, his, I think a lot of his t-shirts are fucking beautiful looking. Their designs are great. But, the thing about it is, is anybody at all could do make get t-shirts made. Well, you know, with satanic designs or different demons' names on them with their sigils. Anybody at all could get them shirts made. You don't have to buy them off Amazon. You don't have to do none of that. All you gotta do is go to certain stores, because I know there's a store in Brampton... Brampton, Ontario, Canada, where, where, I, where I'm to. Uh, I don't know if the store is still there, but I know the store used to be there, that you could get your t-shirts, you could put whatever design you wanted on, and the guy would put whatever you wanted on the t-shirt. You know? Now, I don't know if the store is still there, because I haven't been there in, in years. But, I will say this, um, this guy, I know he used to do satanic rituals, but I don't know if he does anymore. I have no idea. And in my opinion, why would you do even why would you do a satanic ritual if you don't if you don't believe in Father Satan or any demonic? That's something else that don't make sense. Why would you do a fucking ritual to a de certain demonic entity or to any demon at all? Or to King Lucifer or Father Satan, beautiful Queen Lilith, whichever one you choose. Whichever demonic entity that you're trying to work with at the time. Why would you do that and not believe in Father Satan? Obviously there's something off there somewhere. Otherwise you wouldn't be doing the rituals if you didn't believe in them. Or didn't believe in something like that. Right? Now a lot of people start up them little organizations and they only do it for a money grab. Cash grab. That's all they do it for. And in my honest opinion that's 100% wrong. I've always thought that, and I always will think that. And to be honest with you, I'm probably 100% correct on it, too. But anyway, back to satanic rituals, what I started it for. 
before you do a satanic ritual, you got to do a lot of studying and know the deity, learn everything you can about that deity. You know, even if it's Father Satan, King Lucifer, whichever, you got to know what color you got to know what colors they like. That way, candle-wise, but you can still use white candles if that's all you have. Okay, Father Satan. You know, just as long as your heart and your mind and your soul is into it. And you're 100% pure and 100% respectful about it. You have to be respectful about it. You have to be honest when you go to do a ritual. You can't just jump in, go start doing a ritual, say to Lord Behelbagor, and because Lord Behelbagor deserves, and if you're if you know anything about Lord Behelbagor, he deserves a blood ritual. And that's just a proven fact. Now, with the re with all the demonic, you have to, man. If you're if you're, you have to learn as much as you humanly possibly can about that de deity, whichever demon or demoness that you're working with. You have to learn what 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 do they prefer time wise? Are they night demons? Are they day demons? What color candles do they like? Or you know, you can just use a straight white candle. Me personally, I just use usually black or red. That's usually the candles that I use. And with that, you also have to know and say, you also have to be big on invitations. You have to invite them. You have to let them know your, what you're giving to them for as offerings, be it blood, be it incense. You have to know what kind of incense they like or choose to like, all that stuff. And, if, and in my honest opinion, a person that's new to, especially a person that's new to traditional Satanism, spiritual Satanism, theistic Satanism, anti-cosmic Satanism, my honest opinion, you should, in all honesty, know as much as you can about that de demonic entity. And besides that, you should also, you should also uh, not, in my, like when it comes to pack giving, in my honest opinion, you should not go into a demonic pact with a demon at least until you're one year into your Satanism, if you're new to Satanism. You should wait at least one year before you do, do a demonic pact, in my opinion. Now, a lot of people, some people don't do that. And then in a year's time or 18 months time or 24 months time, they don't want to be a Satanist no more. Okay, but you still made that demonic pact. And if that demonic pact was accepted, because they're not all accepted, if that demonic pact was accepted, that demonic pact is in the spiritual realm, and if it was done correctly, and if it was accepted, that demonic pact is in the spiritual realm now. So that means that, no, you just don't walk away without it unscathed. It don't work that way. But anyway, I just wanted to, you know, have say, do a short video on it. It got a little longer than I expected. Uh, with that, I love every one of my true brothers and sisters, 100%, I really do. The ones that are really loyal and really true to their path, to Father Satan's path, King Lucifer, all the demonic. And with that, I'll let you go, and Ave Satanus, Ave Lucifera, Ave Lord Belial, Ave Lord Leviathan, Ave King Asmodeus, Ave King Pazuzu, Ave Lord of Maimon, Ave Lord Maimon, Ave King Azazel, Ave Lord Croxel, Ave Lord Volok, Ave Lord Vereen, Ave Lord Behelbagor, Ave and hail to every demonic enti entity that's in existence. I love you all and I'll talk to you next, my brothers and sisters. Hail Satan.